All right, yeah. The servers are on fire. Nikita came and talked to everybody about it. We're going to check out that clip. And, uh, yeah, welcome to a beautiful evening edition for all of you wonderful YouTube Tarkovians of the Newsy News. Hey, everybody. My name is OnePeg. If you're relatively new to my content or if you're somebody that's been watching my videos for a time and has not yet considered subscribing, I would ask that maybe you please do that because I'd really like to hit 100,000 subs at some point by, I don't know, middle of the year or so, given how things have been going. And uh, I like to do this kind of stuff all the time. So... Maybe come back and hang out a, a bit, you know, bell or whatever. Yeah, pretend I just did like all of that is like really smoothly and you were like, wow, yeah, I can't wait to like sub this dude. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we had a conversation that happened between uh, some of the boys during the evasion broadcast today with Nikita. A couple of things. One, Nikita looks like he has been up for like three days straight. The guy looks exhausted. So in no way do I think that these guys have been slacking off. I don't feel like they've been collecting the bag. He probably worked straight through the new year. His wife's probably pissed off at him. You know what I mean? Um, and two, he's trying to give as best of a response as he can to people to try and explain kind of what's been going on and what they're looking to do moving forward. But I'm just going to play it for you, and uh, we'll we'll talk about it on the back end. Right now, we are getting so overwhelmed with the new players and everything, and... Uh... Many of you are being frustrated about this queuing stuff. I personally uh, too frustrated with them too. And we are literally working 24 seven to do anything to avoid this queuing and stuff. And we, all, we already had uh, several things that we are preparing right now. And uh, we will start testing them like in, in, in a couple of hours. And most likely we will do something, but Unfortunately, all of these changes could lead to backend faults and everything. And also the queuing also uh, is kind of keeping the backend stable. Uh, not 100% stable, but stable, not without like general faults and everything. And uh, like it seems okay, but the queue, uh, queues are too big. And you people like waiting for it for too long. And also we constantly testing different kind of approaches to uh, to lower this queue with different kind of like techniques. So we like, do different kind of stuff. Like for example, we had uh, like the, like if you got kicked out of the game. He then goes on to talk about how people were trying to requeue and they were trying to give people the opportunity, like if they got kicked off the server or if, if the game crashed to, to allow them a small window of opportunity to get logged back in, but then there would be so many people that would be simultaneously kicked because of, because of a server error that when they tried to all simultaneously reconnect, it would choke the server out and the server would die. And then we would be right back to square one again where everything crashed. And then on top of that, he talked more about how they are at the same time simultaneously with all of these server issues with people logging in and trying to stay logged in and, and servers getting choked out. They are uh, currently actively under consistent DDoS attacks from who fucking knows. So my point is, though, with showing you guys this, you can see that the guy is very visibly tired and very visibly frustrated. And I can't imagine any game dev in the position that Nikita or any of the other guys that are working with him are in, they would want a situation where the servers aren't working. In no way does scarcity, in this case, work out as a benefit to Battlestate games at all. In the meantime, we have people that are very actively going after the devs as verbally as they possibly can on the internet and hitting them hard on Reddit and everything else. You know, your game is shit. You know, the devs aren't trying and all this. I, Dude, the guy looks whooped. They're clearly working. And in no way does scarcity, in this case, end up benefiting them, like I said. They need, want, desire, very desperately, I am sure, this game to work as flawlessly as it possibly can for the entire duration of drop streams. It wouldn't make any sense for them to push such a marketing campaign, have the game get purchased by people, and then have them go to forums and complain because the servers don't work. And of course... There's going to be like 15 people in my comments section that will end up being like, Nah fam, Nikita, he doesn't give a shit about anybody. He's just here to collect the bag and they're just doing the revolving door where cheaters and they're not trying to ban cheaters and they're just trying to keep making their money and, you know, fuck the player base. Nikita doesn't care. BSG's a bunch of assholes. Look, I, dude, I get all of that, okay? Like, I get it. I know that you guys are frustrated. 
I get that there are people, you know, the 15-year-old mentality douchebags among us that are going to think that the devs are out here just trying to collect cash because Twitch drops, like what has been going on right now, unless you guys have been living under a rock, drops have been going on from the 28th through to the 8th of January and are a massive marketing campaign for Battlestate Games. They have perennially, every time that they do one of these, end up being the most successful Twitch drop campaigns that end up existing on Twitch every single time that they do one. They end up raising the bar for how popular Twitch drops campaigns can be. So for a niche game like Escape from Tarkov to have this much viewership, and I mean, I'm talking over 220,000 viewers or something for Pestily during his 24-hour block, I mean, that is a lot of viewers being influenced to potentially purchase additional copies of Escape from Tarkov. And it's doing its job. And for all of you guys that would be complaining about the quality of drops and whatever else, it seems awful funny that so many people that are complaining about the quality of drops still seem to be lining up to collect them every single time that they come through, especially now that there's this Chrome extension that I've been pushing for the last handful of days to educate everyone that you can passively collect them. Of course, there's going to be the handful of people that say that they're garbage and, you know, people can keep collecting their Kiba keys and laughing all their way to, you know, collecting all of their stuff out of the store in, in Interchange Mall, but... I digress. It's not like we can't see him doing the work. You know what I mean? And I know that there are going to be a whole bunch of people that are not even going to bother laying off because they're going to say the BSG sucks and they're just trying to milk people for cash and all this other shit. But I don't see how a guy that looks that tired on the 2nd of January, okay, because he ain't going to have a hangover for that freaking long. I don't see how a dude on the 2nd of January that's clearly been working right through the holiday is going to hop on a webcam looking that freaking tired and just be like, yeah, life sucks right now. We're working really fucking hard, you know? Like, he ain't that good of an actor. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, dude. Maybe cut him some slack. Maybe don't. It's 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 your deal. <laughs> you guys can do whatever you want. I'm just saying, it doesn't make sense. Like, why burn the energy? Just just chill. Just chill. Play a different game, you know? Keep trying the launcher. I mean, none of the drop streamers want this shit either. Anton's sitting here at 70,000 viewers, and Geek says at 40,000, 48,000 viewers right now playing playing words on stream, okay? It, like, these dudes would rather be playing Tarkov. You know what I mean? But they're still here. They're still trying to get everybody drops. They're still going to show up in the game. And, the, and BSG's trying. Now, oh, whatever. I'm just a boomer on the internet ranting anyway. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? I got I got some ballistics testing I'm working on, so we're gonna we're gonna start messing with that, like showing you guys like bullet drop stuff. And uh yeah, we'll see you in the next edition of the news too. Okay, boys? Peace. Uh -huh.